Crokinole skills tip number eight. Have you had a go at the tip seven challenge yet? If not, click here to check it out. And if you have, you probably discovered that there's one shot that is extremely tough to hit. This week's tip is gonna help with that. Let's take a look. Some people call this shot Hogan's Alley. Other people just call it a f***er or a real f***er pain in the f***er. No matter what you call it, there are times when you just have to shoot all the way through the pegs and hit a button on the far side, and that really tough shot can either make you or break you in a round of broken one. In that tip seven challenge where we were trying to pull the button back, when it came time to shoot between the pegs, we were wanting to hit the disc, hit the peg, and then bring it back. That's not what we're going to do in this week's tip. This week's tip, I want you to challenge yourself to shoot all the way through. Now let's look at three tips that are gonna help you be even more successful with this super tough shot. Pointer number one, look where you want to go. Have you ever seen the show called Canada's Worst Driver? It's a pretty silly show, really, but there was also some great wisdom mixed in. And so often when they ran their challenges and obstacle course, the take home message was look where you want to go. If people would look at the obstacle, that's exactly what they would hit. But if they looked down the alley they wanted to go, that's where their car would go. And you may be thinking, come on, Jeremy, what's this got to do with Crokinole? Well, if you've played any amount at all, you know that when you look at the pegs, you hit the pegs. So when you're trying to shoot through Hogan's Alley all the way to the far side, look at that button. Look where you want your button to go and your success will go way up. Pointer number two is yes, you want to focus on the button, but don't just focus on the button, focus on exactly where you'd like to hit. Because there's times you're going to find that the opponent's button is tucked a little bit behind the peg. So if you focus on the center of that disc, you could make the perfect shot to hit it and still end up catching the peg just a little bit on the way by. So instead, focus on the exact spot on that button that you want to hit so you can miss the peg and make contact with the opponent's button. Pointer number three. I'd encourage you to experiment with different speeds. It's one of the great things about sitting down at the board by yourself and practicing is you can mess around and see what works for you. So I'd encourage you to take some nice soft shots, see how that works for you. I'd encourage you to take some medium strength shots and I'd also encourage you to sit down and just blast and see how, see what works for you to be most successful in hitting that button. Now there's a pretty good chance if you blast it, you're not going to keep your shooter on the board, but it can still help you be successful in getting the opponent's button off. Now if you are gonna blast, I'd encourage you to either watch or re-watch our video called Crokinole Hurts My Finger to learn tips on how to shoot and shoot hard without hurting your finger. Now there's your tip eight drill to keep you busy for the next few days. With a little bit of practice, you'll find yourself in a match when your opponent hides their disc behind that button. They laugh to themselves because they think it's gonna be a real fucker for you to hit. But you'll know exactly what to do. Have fun with the greatest game on earth. Other people just call it a bugger or a real friggin' pain in the butt. Look at the back of my head. Back of my head. <laughs> Maybe we should have a tip on what to do with this.